Shall we begin? Yes, let's begin. Let's now. begin. Now. <laughs> ben Ochart here with an old school video for you. I want to talk about some of the color combinations that we see sometimes in African cichlids that um, I find particularly uh, beautiful and interesting. And sometimes I wonder how they ever came together. And um, certainly you'd have to include the ruby red, which in my mind is just a gorgeous fish with that uh, purple face and, uh, and reddish body. And of course the sunshine benga. Uh, and that you can see here, anything that brings that kind of a bright yellow into the tank is uh, always welcome. And on the subject of yellow, we cannot uh, leave out the lemon jake, who has an actual lemon, a greenish yellow, together with the blue tips, you know, the blue color in the body and on the tips of the fins. Just a beautiful fish. One fish that's taken for granted, I think, in the hobby is the venusus because it's just so common. And yet, if you look at the patterns on the body and the blue in the face and the different tones you'll get in the fins, it really is a pretty striking specimen, as is the red shoulder. And of course, we can't uh, skip over the red cap. I mean, who put this fish together? I mean, look at this, the uh, color in the dorsal, the red on the head, the beautiful uh, metallic blue in the cheeks, depending how the light is hitting him, just a, an amazing specimen. And on this list, you also have to include the OB. No two OBs are the same. Everyone is unique. And they used to be called orange blotch, but they're no longer just in orange. They come in all colors, blues, reds, yellows. This was the old man. And uh, this one that I'm growing out is starting to look a little bit like the old man with the orange in the body and the blue in the face. A Bucachromus norotania is one of my favorite fish and would have to be on the list only because of the translucent color they get throughout the body. This is one I had previously, and he had yellow in the fins, which was very striking. One of my favorite overall fish, of course, is the sand diver. Again, no two sand divers are the same. They um, get this sort of metallic, like someone spray painted them with a, uh, a high gloss metallic paint and uh, this one you can see is just starting to get his colors. The star sapphire, the Plastochromus star sapphire, is a very unusual fish, and again, no two are the same. It's like someone dipped a brush in some silver paint and just, you know, and just shook it over the fish. As they get older, they get those blue chips, and uh, people ask me, does he have ick? No, he doesn't have ick. It's, uh, it's the way they look. And then, of course, there's the cousin, you have the Maduka white lips, which like someone took a blue fish and put the, uh, the bill of a duck, you know, they put a duck's beak or bill on a fish, you'd have a Maduka white lips, a very dark, deep, beautiful blue with white bleached lips. And uh, some people keep them in groups. I got this one from Paul, the inventory king, back when he was breeding them. And some people keep them in groups of four or eight or 10, and they can be very impressive in large groups used to be a very rare fish. They're starting to become more and more common in the hobby. I just uh, find them very, very interesting in their color combination. And again, I'd have to include the ruby red on the list and, uh, and the flavescent and, of course, the uh, bicolor 500. Those are all fish that um, I consider just very striking among African cichlids. I know I haven't touched on... Uh, on as many as I could. There are so many. I haven't even touched on Mabuna, which, I mean, Mabuna can be incredibly striking. And, uh, and also, of course, fish from the other lakes, you know, your Tanganyikans, your Lake Victoria fish, so many to choose from, so many beautiful combinations. But these are the ones that currently really jump out at me and, and I just find very unusual and very beautiful in, in their color combos. But if you have some fish that um, you think among, among cichlids, that have a very interesting or striking combination of colors, share them below. I'd like to hear what, uh, what your favorites are. And, uh, and as always, I do read your comments. I try and get back to you when I can. And I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to rate, comment, share, all that good stuff. And that's all for me for now. Thank you.